Hi guys, so on the way this here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one today then, I'll be discussing the two Swan City players who have left the club on loan, which is Stephen Bender and Liam Cullen, who have joined Peterborough United and Lincoln City for the rest of the season, respectively. So let's start off with Stephen Bender then. This news came about 10 minutes after Andy Fisher got announced the other day, so I couldn't really do a video on it because no one was expecting it. But I was expecting Stephen Bender to leave the club on loan or permanent deal. I'm thankful it's a loan deal. Ben Hamer hasn't signed a new contract yet, so I'm assuming he may not sign a new contract and Ben will be the number two next season. But I think it's a good opportunity for Stephen Bender to get some regular game time at championship level. We, I think he has proven himself to be a decent League One shot stopper. He's done it way in League Two where he's phenomenal. Championship, he has kind of struggled. And I think League One probably is his level at the moment. But Pierre United have decided that Stephen Bender is going to be their goalkeeper to try and keep them up at championship level. I do expect him to start for them. You know, he's a tall goalkeeper which, you know, is a big bonus for them. They've struggled with set pieces this season, Peterborough. So, you know, he's a big goalkeeper who can come out and claim set pieces. A decent penalty shot stopper as well. Peterborough aren't the sort of team we're going to play out from the back of that's more of a Blackpool who recently got promoted Peterborough you know they just want to stay up in the championship it's their first season in the championship for a very long time and they just want to survive and hopefully Steve Bender can do that for them when we played Peterborough in September you know they were woeful they were very very poor we beat them 3-0 should have been a lot more as well so Peterborough of course their goalkeeper at the moment was Di Cornell former Swan City goalkeeper of course so the first two choices of goalkeeper now are both Swan City related so best luck to see him Bender I don't know if he's going to be their number one or, you know, he'll try and work his way into the number one. But fingers crossed for him that, you know, he can get that number one spot because I think it'll be a great opportunity for him. And who knows, if he does well for Peter Brown, they might want him permanently in the summer. But for me, it's a good opportunity because, let's be fair, he wasn't going to get into the team now, especially even if Andy Fisher gets injured, Ben Hay will be picked over him. But, yeah, Peter Brown fans, what you can expect from... Stephen Bender then is a confident goalkeeper, a keeper who is not afraid to come out of his box, which we've seen at Preston away, if anyone doesn't know what happened, he basically just rushed out of his box, cleared a man out completely, probably should have got a red and conceded from the resulting free kick, but yeah, Bender confident, not great with his feet, but shots up, and I think he's excellent at, you know, long kick and he's pretty decent at, it's just that short passing and, you know, lack of concentration at times which does let him down. On the other news end, Liam Cullen has also left the club on loan, which is very, very good for Southern City fans, you know, majority of us, including myself, do give Cullen quite a hard time but we know he can be a very good player at this level and he has needed to go out on loan for the last couple of seasons but he has finally secured a loan move away from Swan City and he's also joined Morgan Whitaker's Lincoln City on loan so we've got two players now on loan at League One level at the same club Lincoln City so we definitely will be looking out for Lincoln City this season of course Whitaker has already made two appearances for Lincoln scoring one goal and you know they've won both games I think they beat Sutherland the other day as well so it's a great move for Liam Cullen he's definitely going to start for them, same with Morgan Whitaker. Michael Appleton's a great manager. We were linked to him in the summer, but of course he decided to stay at Lincoln, which is, you know, it's fair enough to him. He's a very good manager, Michael Appleton. And I think Cullen, you know, wouldn't be surprised if he gets 10 goals between now and the end of the season. Linking up with Morgan Whitaker, he's going to suit them very, very well. You know, Whitaker and Cullen can help each other settle down. I think it's a brilliant signing for Lincoln. You know, they have struggled this season, flirting with relegation a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if Lincoln, you know, potentially try and push for the top 10 finish. You know, with Liam McCullough, we've got a fantastic goal scorer, you know, under 23 level a few seasons back, you know, he was doing it week in, week out. He, he came off the bench a few times last season in the championship, scored a few goals, scored against Wickham when he came on. But the problem with Cullen is his lack of physicality really lets him down. He's a brilliant finisher. Anything in that six-yard box, you do expect him to finish on his left foot. He's a fantastic striker at League 1, League 2 level. It's just, you know, he needs a bit more experience, a few goals. And he's one of these strikers where when they get one goal, they'll keep rolling. But unfortunately for him, he's just not scored this season. And you could say he's had a lack of opportunities to start. But, you know, when you've got a player like Joel Pro scoring week in week out is a bit hard for Liam Cullen but if from a Swan City point of view it's going to be interesting to see what happens we've only got two recognised strikers at the club now in Joel Perot and Michael Obafemi of course Perot's been fantastic this season and Obafemi you know he hasn't hit the roof yet Kyle Joseph has been recalled we we're very interested to see whether he has been recalled to let Cullen go out on loan to be that third striker or if he's been recalled because Ethan Laird has left the club to be the second choice right wing back when we do sign one so it's going to be interesting it's exciting though because you know we're going to sign a lot more players which is is very very good and of course today we were linked to Cyrus Christie but part of that move's broken down which is very very bad news so you know it could be an opportunity for Carl Joseph on the weekend but yeah let me know down below guys what would you rank both of these transfers for me Bender I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 you know he's gone to a fellow championship club of course he can't play against us when we're versus Peterborough later on in the season so he can't play against us to his goods you know 
you can't say very about shots. And I think, you know, it's a good move. 10 out of 10, you know, he's taken a pay cut and his agent's taken a pay cut to go to Peterborough, which just shows, you know, he's a young footballer who just wants game time. So that's brilliant. So 10 out of 10 for me. Cullen, I'll give him 8 out of 10. The only slight annoying thing for me is that he's gone to Lincoln where Morgan Whitaker's already at. I don't like him to go to another club where he doesn't know any players so he can adapt to the environment and see how, you know, he survives basically in our environment so it's a little bit disappointing that we've got two players at the same club but you know it is what it is so i'm glad cullen has gone alone but let me know down below guys what you think of these transfers best luck to liam cullen and stephen bender then who have left the club to join peterborough united and lincoln city respectively i definitely will be keeping an eye out on both of those clubs and hopefully you know both of those clubs do very well opposition fans who are watching I'm sure Swan City fans in the comments will let you know a lot more about these players as well. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you did like the video, please do smash a thumbs up. It does help the channel massively. And of course, when there is more transfer news to bring to you guys, I will be uploading as soon as possible. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.